What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. We are back on our mountain top base thingamabobber. That's um, tentatively the official working title. Um, so in the last episode, we started working on this hangar, and I got a couple of really good suggestions back from all of you guys' feedback. One being the dimensions aren't actually correct. Um, the main reason for that is the size of the airtight hangar doors, uh, which I have here. So, for those of you that may not be aware, well, okay, technically they are the right dimensions, but they're really not. Um, technically speaking, this is a three block space. So, they take up a block on their own, and then they have two blocks to extend when they're open. Or closed, rather, actually. So, um, either you have a two block high doorway, which isn't super conducive. It would work for a little driller, but anything bigger than that would not really make any sense. And if I, like, recessed it down into the floor or something, then it doesn't go up all the way. So there's a couple different options. I personally like to recess these. Um, or inset them, or whatever you want to call it. Um, to where that when they're fully retracted or opened, um, that you actually have an open doorway, that you don't keep this block in the way. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. So I like to put them like up on this block here, and then extend that way. So with that in mind, I did some math before I started recording. And, if I did my math correctly, which who knows, um, if I put one in the floor, that gives me one, two, and then, yeah, it would be one, two, and then that would be three and four, and then one for a, um, for a second, like, one, a set of doors on the top and a set of doors on the bottom. Um, so that wouldn't quite work the way that it is, but if I lowered this by one, then um, it would basically be the hangar doors are going to be on the same level. So if I lowered this by one, the hangar door would be down here, and the opening would go one, two, and then one, two, and then the other door could be recessed in here. Um, this leaves us with a couple of different issues up here. The first being that you would end up with this. Like, um, you'd have a bunch of steel and then this particular section would have exposed backs of the hangar doors. I haven't really decided if that's a problem or not yet. Um, I'm not really sure. But I have a couple of solutions already in mind. Uh, the first being that if I wanted to do that, I would simply raise the aesthetic part up by one like this, and then do um, a curve like this, which is basically like what we have here, but then in this block space, uh, rotate that, no, rotate it like this, only it would be where that current block is now. So it would kind of just curve around. Um, and that's a, that's a current working idea. Again, I don't know actually if it'll even be an issue or if I won't mind um, the hangar doors being exposed here. Excuse me. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is at least lowering it down by one and possibly raising this up by one. Now I could lower it down by two and so on and so forth. Um, but I, I, you do kind of run into an issue here, uh, which is this doesn't matter, because if you put stuff down in the floor here, nobody's going to see it from the bottom because it's the ground. Up here, if I only do a one block thick ceiling, uh, then this will pretty much always be exposed. And so that's kind of the issue there, is I, I feel like no matter how tall this section is, I'm always going to have to deal with that. Um, not that it's a crazy big deal or anything, but it is kind of a kind of a deal. Okay, I just noticed that my solar panels are not set the right way. Not really sure if I just neglected to rotate them correctly or not. 
Um, what that be? 90, I think. So then let's do 0.5. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, that'll get them set up and charging again, because I'm trying to spend time charging stuff. So, um, I don't mind going one down. I may not go any lower than that for now. That's kind of my theory at the moment, anyway. Uh, one other thing that I have in terms of ideas for this, we're going to go ahead and put that there. And I think I can get one here looks like it, uh, is I may not cut out too much of this front part, and I will just explain what I mean by that right now. Yeah. So this front part, I may not actually like drill too much of this. I am going to have to drill this part, however, um, as, well, actually just to build it, it's in the way at the moment, so I need to be able to get to this like so. Even if it's just something like that to where I can expose the edge. Whoops, did not think that through. Did not think that through at all. Oh well. Oh right, all the debris stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take this part out. Now, how this affects our walkway section, I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not really worried about lowering this because whatever the size of the hangar is, all of this center part is going to have to be dug out at some point anyway. So I'm not really too worried about like, oh no, I had this walkway and I already drilled this hole and it's like, it's not really going to matter because once I actually start building the hangar, where it's going to be. We're going to have to do it anyway. We need to go lower, right? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I need to go lower. Okay, I didn't see the other frame there for a second, and I was like, wait a minute. Where is everything? But yeah, I'm drilling, like, basically in a straight line here. Because I don't actually know if I'm really going to, um, if I'm really going to drill this part out. Now I know what a lot of you are probably thinking is, well, that gets in the way of your hanger. It does. No, no denying there. No, no denial there. It does. It gets in the way. But part of me is wondering if that's actually kind of a little bit cool, in that it really gives it a feel like it's embedded in the rock formation kind of thing like it's it's i don't know i just thought it was an interesting idea i may not keep it that way it's just something i thought of like hmm interesting that's kind of cool um it's a nice thing with survival sandbox if you don't like it or you decide you don't want to keep it that way you don't you change it it's just that simple um the, the thing that I'm wondering about here is if I will actually lower all of this, but then instead of lowering this part, like I had originally talked about as far as, well, we'll have to lower, you know, maybe go one further out and lower this door frame and all that. What I may end up doing is just converting this to some kind of uh, slope, um, like one of these, and just make it like a, a stairway thing that leads up. I may do that. I'm not really too sure. I mean, one way or another, I can't see this this whole path being here, so one way or another, I mean, this is probably going to end up going. Um, and I'm also going to need to do this anyway to fit the hangar doors. I really probably should be using my actual driller ship for this, but I kind of wanted the outline a little bit more precisely controlled. Um, actually, I probably don't have to do much more than that for the hangar doors. That'll probably be fine. But like all of this stuff is just raw digging. Uh, but along the border and edges and stuff like that, I wanted to be a little bit more precise with it. Um, all the little debris things are in the way. Uh, yeah, I think that's... I think that's what we're going to do there. I don't 
know why it keeps flipping the other way. Oh, that's the other thing. I need to make sure these are, like, aligned the same way. Oh, I guess it is when they're snapping properly. I don't know what's going on there. It's like... Oh, I guess I'm in the way? I thought I was standing far enough away. These are being really touchy, actually. Like, what they're trying to snap to. Like, that doesn't work. I, I, don't, I don't know what it's snapping to here, if anything. It may just be the ground. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure how that works. I mean, it's working, so screw it. Why not? Um, so that will cover... those first two. So then, technically, as you can see, it didn't actually stop us. Wait, what was that? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. It didn't actually stop us from putting these here, because in theory, that's actually fine. So we have... It's inset one, so one, two, and then one, two, and then the other hangers. So technically, this works fine. It really comes down to whether or not we want to keep the style that way, essentially. I almost wonder if it's having to snap to the other hanger door. Because it's not letting... Oh, you know what I bet it is? It's pro... Yeah, the snap point... The anchor point's on the side. It can't anchor to the front, it can anchor to the side, so all these are anchoring to their... the one next to the... next to it, because this one's hooked to that wall. I gotcha now. So yeah, it's, it's kind of more of a time will tell, in terms of the whether or not we want this exposed or not. Um, since I was going to make this curved anyway, we're going to do our infamous left side, right side system, I think. And that might help us a little bit. So, let's say this one will do it over here. Um, and let's do... Oh, I didn't really think this... Uh, I think it's going to have to be there. So these are going to have to go like this. We'll actually leave these here. Uh, because I was going to replace them with corners. But actually... Uh, if we keep it this way, then we'll end up doing it like this anyway, so it'll work out. Corner there. Um, take that out. Put that one there. And then for these sections, we'll do this. Oops, too far away. And what this should be doing is something similar. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way or not, but it should be something like that is what I was kind of picturing in my head. Now, uh, because this doesn't really meet up with that or anything, we could do it a little differently um, in that I could actually make these like an angle instead of a curve, if we wanted to, if that seemed better or whatever. Just kind of a whatever we wanted to do. And we could also make this a corner, whether it be a um, one of the curved corners or whether it be one of the angled ones doesn't really matter but that's kind of the idea I think I like the curve actually I, I think part of it uh, part of it part of it I don't think I'm gonna like that at all yeah we're not doing that um, we're just gonna do that for now I think part of it is because I'm not usually real great artistically with curved edges. When things are squared, it's a little bit easier for me to figure out where I want things. So when I can find places to use curves, to me it just adds more detail. So I kind of like it. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, we could use curves, angles, we could freaking keep it square blocks if we really wanted to. I just thought that would add a little bit of depth and detail. And then of course you would run this all the way back. Uh, I need to flip this the right way. Like so. Snap that in there. Um, and then we would end up just running this part back all the way into the mountain. Something to that effect. It's kind of what I'm thinking. And originally I thought about pushing it back in, as I talked about in the last episode, um, but a couple of people suggested that the um, 
a little bit more of it sticking out actually made it seem like it was a bigger hangar or something, or that there was a more significant facility inside the mountain, and I was like, okay, that's that's one way to look at it. That's kind of cool. Um, so we'll just do the left side, or maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's check and see if we have more plates. If not, i got to make some more. I have 16! That is not a lot. Wait, do I have any more iron? Oh, I have a lot more iron. Okay, that's fine. So I just need to make more. It's not that I don't have more. Got it. Uh, so we just do something like that, basically. Um, another thing that got brought up... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this down, I think, too. Literally, take it down. Um, I am going to leave that one for the moment. Uh, the other thing that got brought up is I think we're going, based on uh, comments and overall general consensus, I think we're going to do fully welded stuff. Like anytime we place these catwalks or doorways or things, we're going to go fully welded with them. But uh, I do think we're going to do doorways and things and then leave like this stuff open rock. I think that was, I had a lot more comments that suggested that kind of vibe. Um, there was one or two that was like doing everything in full steel and stuff like that, but for the most part everybody seemed to kind of agree actually um, on doing it where at the exception is probably going to be stuff like this, like the hangar, but even the hangar probably once we get like into the hangar, aka over in this region where we're just digging at that point, um, I think the floor and stuff will probably be, but I don't know if we'll do all of the hangar walls and everything or if we'll keep that stone. We might keep that stone. Uh, floors and stuff, any place that you're going to be walking or docked or something like that, I want to keep um, metal. I think that'll be a better look. Uh, now I do want to make sure... Oh, crap. Okay, this could be a problem. Maybe. Can I get one? Ooh. All right. Well, that's going to be an issue. So let's go from here instead. Then. And I'll show you why, in case you hadn't already gotten it. Uh, short version is that it's not letting me attach... I got that one. Now, can I get this one? Ah! I gotta wait for these stupid things. Or... Clear them. Clean up on aisle three. Okay. Aha! I did get it. Sweet. Um, I have found... at least This is really my first time building underground, like in a survival type situation. Um, if you don't count Minecraft, anyway. So, what I found works really well for me is to kind of build a base platform, which is like, this is the height I want to be at, essentially. Oh, that's weird. Let me just build it into the mountain. Um, and that lets me kind of keep an eye on my level essentially because otherwise it's very easy to be digging and you think you're digging straight but then you start like walking up a ridge or something and because there's no reference point you start kind of losing where you are and then you look back and you've got a you know an angled tunnel instead of a straight one so i've run into that before so i found that this works best for me to do it like this i don't know why i'm getting every other I guess it's because the stones are not despawning yet, but but yeah, that helps me keep my tunnels a little bit more uh, concise and accurate, I guess. There we go. Okay. Now, the problem I was running into here is I have no uh, blocks that are this height, and as we found before, these don't have an anchor point on their side. So I needed to get this one going in order to get that one going. There we go. Now what I was talking about before is I may leave this as the hanger and then do 
like this. For ah, dag nabbit. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. And then that way we don't have to move this tunnel around or anything like that. This stays functional, but then we can still come down here and this is the hangar. Actually, it also kind of separates it a little bit. It's like this is the hangar kind of thing. Um, but yeah, overall I'm liking this idea so far. I think this works. Uh, one last thing I may do, because one way or another I think we're going to keep this size, whether we push further back in or not, I haven't decided yet, and nor does it really even matter. So one thing I think I'm going to do is grab the driller and see if we can't hollow this out a bit. Okay, so I think I've got it uh, squared away. I may have gone a little too far, so I'm going to go through and do some patching real quick. Um, I did go ahead and cover the top as if we were doing the um, two-layer high one, mainly just for drilling purposes so that I could make sure that I went high enough or not high enough or whatever kind of thing because oh all in all I probably am gonna go this route I also ran into a couple of issues where the drill actually took out the um the hangers which was kind of unfortunate but kind of funny um again not really sure why these aren't snapping at certain points it's weird um and there's one up here that I think busted as well is that it I think that's it so, yeah, there's a few spots where I might have gone a little too close. I was trying to keep a few um, parts that were kind of not really exposed, but kind of like had the pieces of rock coming through them. Um, but I didn't want to go any further with it with the drill. I decided that basically any other things I decided to do, I could fine tune and kind of do it myself. Um, but like this on the inside kind of thing is a little more exposed than I was wanting it. I was going to leave it a little a little bit more um, rocky in the ceiling. Uh, this is kind of my, my idea though, is basically any spot that when it gets too crazy like that, I'm doing just for structure. Uh, but past that point, it's like not really worrying about it, essentially. Um, because at that point, it's like the rest of it is in the wall, even though it's not. Um, it totally is, though. Uh, kind of the same thing here. Just basically anytime there's really big patches kind of thing that are obviously exposed. Um, kind of doing doing that is what I'm thinking. For, for this, anyway. Um, for the hallways and stuff, as we said, we're just going to probably do doorways, but for the hangar, like a room, and I might trim that up actually, but for basically like a room, we're going to actually kind of make it enclosed, but in that, like the, the rocks can be walls kind of enclosed. Um, not the, let's, let's, uh, industrialize everything and make it all metal. Uh, may not be able to get okay so I think that's good in terms of the floor for the wall let's go a little bit more okay that kind of goes into the rock at that point so you guys kind of get the idea and you can let me know what you guys think as far as should we take some of these rock chunks out and just make this part a wall or leave them there does it add character you know, etc. and so on. Yeah, we'll put that in there. That seems fine. That seems fine. Okay. Can I get one in here? I can. Let's do that. So, yeah, that's kind of the idea. And then I may do an angle or a curve here to cover up the, um, the hangar door part there. Um, I think it's 
fairly definitive that we'll probably end up going with this style. I was leaving it up to feedback, but I'm pretty sure we're going to end up doing that. Uh, yeah, so let's do the wall over here, and then we'll probably be done for this episode, I think. Um, this rock I will more than likely end up taking out. Uh, I just don't really feel like messing with it at this point. And I do have the, um, the blocks are there. Like, they're, they're covering everything up. Oh no! I'm out of plates. But I'm not. Because I was smart and I made some more while I was drilling. Oh, and by the way, that, uh, that driller, that worked a lot better than my little hand drill. That thing, uh, that did some work. As you can tell. I mean, I really wasn't actually off camera that long doing that. And I could, probably could have done it faster. I was just trying to kind of take my time and, and be a little bit more precise with it. Um, okay, I'm going to leave that open for a minute. And I'm going to come back to that. Because I have a couple of different ways I could do that. I don't know if it's necessary. <coughs> Excuse me. Drill. What the heck? Thank you. I don't know if it's necessary to do like the floor when it's this close to the edge or not. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it. Normally I try to, but that was not really finding a spot to put it. Okay, so that wall's kind of done too. And eventually, this will probably end up leading, like I might have a door back here that then goes into another tunnel that, you know, so on and so forth. Who knows? Um, this, I could do a couple of different ways. We could leave it this way. Um, I could add some curves. I could add, like, make a, a corner block. Actually, why is it not? I could put a corner block here and then put another angle um, angle, I said, this way and put an angle this way. You know, you could do that kind of like hexagonal, not hexagonal, but um, angled, kind of like an inset angled doorway. I could do that. I could leave this exposed, like leaving the, um, the rock kind of thing. Like we could just do... We could do like a couple like this and then maybe not do anything past that point. Um, for now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it this way and then let you guys tell me what you think and see if you'd rather have the exposed stalactite or whatever that would be. Actually, it wouldn't be either of them because it's still connected, but you know what I mean. So we could do something like that as like the hangar door and then you go in this way and blah 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 or we could like I said leave this um, open so you get this cool little kind of cave structure thing going on uh, but overall this is the kind of idea that I'm going for for a couple of reasons but predominantly it'll save me a lot of materials I know looking at this you're going to save material but like this whole back wall I don't have to do because it's all rock so essentially doing it this way where you have like a, um, a doorway or a door frame and then just open walkways and stuff like that, um, that will actually end up being a lot more conducive for our purposes. And of course, as we get further along, I'll end up running conveyors and have like a connector or two down here so that I can plug in uh, whatever ships fly in here and we'll, we'll kind of designate some landing pads and so on and so forth. But overall, I think this is coming along pretty well. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and I'm actually, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and fix this, I think. And then kind of like I said before, it'll just be one of those. Let me know if you guys don't like it. We can change it later. But for now, I think we're going to go this route. Oh, wait, no, I need a curve there, a corner here, and then the rest of it is curves as well. I do kind of miss, it's one thing I did like about Imperion's building system, 
um, is I kind of miss that if you're not in creative mode, you can't do the control, uh, do a line of, op of blocks all at once. Um, at least for placing, I'm, I get that like it wouldn't be fully welded or whatever, but it would be cool for placing the blocks anyway. And like that. All right. So that's a far more polished blueprint of how it's going to actually end up looking, I think. And then, like I said, we could either do curves on the inside here or just angles or kind of just whatever we decide ends up looking right. But for now, we'll just throw some curves here. And it almost ends up looking like a garage door. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to wrap things up for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And I will see you all next time. Peace.